Hey you guys, so real quick, let's talk about the uh, the new X car, specifically the linear rail Z axis, even if it's put on an older version, that specific upgrade. Um, if you are following the assembly instructions for the new version entirely, you will come to this note here, which uh, seems to elude a lot of people. And the most common first post from new users is when they go to run a carve, it's not carving to the depth they set it to, it's instead stopping shallow. And that is uh, as a result of the way that the manual shows attaching these four screws here to the back, right? These run through the back of the gantry and attach to the Z axis assembly right here. And if you look at the photos provided here, uh, I can scroll down a little bit farther. The, the, uh, the zero point of this gauge comes in the photos, it's even above this bottom plate here. It's a little bit above it, right? So you can kind of see it here as well, that uh, this assembly is mounted as high up as it will possibly go. And what actually ends up happening is, let's see if I can find a good image that shows this, is uh, these linear rails here will bottom out as this moves down before your bit hits the uh, wasteboard. And if the bit can't go down far enough, before these bottom out, that basically causes the Z axis to uh, lose steps and basically it loses position and kind of puts the Z zero higher above the wasteboard as it's carving. It kind of changes the, uh, the Z zero position mid carve and that will cause some instances like this one here where if we look at the tool path, it starts down here at the bottom left hand corner of the workpiece, comes up, carves this B and then rather than finishing the rest of these letters, it goes around and carves the rest. And at some point where it's carving super deep, such as in this three and the nine, where it should be going deeper than it is, it um, it bottoms out on those uh, that linear rail onto this piece right here. And when it bottoms out, it loses the Z position. And then it thinks the Z zero is, uh, it, it operates as if the Z zero is higher than where it was really set to. So when it comes back, finishes those letters, those numbers and then it comes back to carve the rest of these letters at the very end, the Z zero is higher than it's supposed to be. And thus they don't end up carving as deep as they should, as deep as the B did here, right? So if we look at some other videos, this one here from Popoff's workshop shows a good one. So he, in this video, he was swapping out the uh, DeWalt router with the Makita and he had already realized that you have to lower this axis. So he loosened those four screws in the back and dropped it down to just between the one and the two mark here to get the bit that additional amount deeper. Personally, I recommend mounting it between about the one and a half and two mark um, for first time users or put in the shortest length bit you have, which is usually a V bit and lower it until that bit can reach the waste board um, and then uh, tighten down at that position. Now, if you if you don't do that, again, you'll, you'll it come into issues where the uh, the linear rails will bottom out mid carve and you'll have buried depth carve issues where it's not carving to the to the full depth that you assigned it to. Now over here in this other video from Business Every Day, he's got his around that same mark too. It's a little bit hard to see from this angle, but you can definitely see that it is lower than the photos in the manual show. Now they did include this note here that says uh, when working with thin material or short bits, they supply short bits to begin with. Uh, mount the ZX is a little below the bottom of the X carriage. For longer uh, bits or thick work pieces, mount it flush with the bottom. But all the photos in here show it flush with the bottom, which confuses most users. They follow the photos, they mount it flush with the bottom and leave it that way. And uh, this is the same post about once every day, if not more, on the various Facebook groups as well as the Embedables forum covering this same type of issue where uh, part of their carve is the right depth, but then the other part is not. Now, sometimes this is because the workpiece has a bow or a cup to it, but when it's doing it consistently and it's not kind of fading the way you'd expect with a bowed or a cup workpiece, that's a good sign that um, the Z axis is simply mounted too high. Um, I have another video talking about how to uh, surface the workpiece uh, to take care of those cups and bows. And another video as well talking about how to kind of shim a planed workpiece to make sure that it's parallel to the gantry's plane of movement 
um, if you are interested in that as well. So I hope that does clarify what's going on there. Uh, this seems to be affecting quite a large quantity of new XCARV users. So let me know in the comments below whether or not this video was able to help you out with a similar issue. All right. Thank you guys and have a great day.